Lindenwood head coach Jed Stugert. Uh, the Lions now six and two have guaranteed themselves a winning record in their first season of uh, Division One football. Uh, beat William Jewell last week. They're going to be at Tennessee Tech. It's Tennessee Tech's homecoming this week. OVC contest, uh, looking to even their record two and two in OVC play. So, Coach, just some uh, thoughts on your team. We'll go to some questions. Well, I, uh, you know, we had a little mental test last week of, you know, we've kind of been through a little grind there three weeks in a row of, of good, you know, playing really good opponents and, and, you know, being three and zero was good coming into this game in that little run. And obviously we're playing a, you know, a, t a team we played the last couple of years in our old conference and, and, um, you know, the mental part of that was, uh, you know, looking at their record and not, not just assuming they're that 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 didn't mean that they're not a uh, that or that they're a bad team. I think that was part of the challenge is to keep the focus, not feel like okay things are just going to get easier. And so, so I was proud of them because we came out and started really fast. We we scored twenty points pretty quick, but then you know it was a good example. And I'm glad sometimes some of these things happen. You know we we kind of when we started gotten in the second quarter, we we kind of took we kind of lost some focus and. and and all of a sudden, you know, they they climb back in it, um, you know, go into halftime, I think, within 10 points, just because we lost some focus. Now we had a we had a few fluke plays that happened that I've never seen before that that was kind of out of our control. <laughs> um uh but still they, you know, they they had a lot of confidence going into halftime. And then and then that's where the test comes from and say, okay, now this second half, let's put <clears throat> let's get back to to play in uh, good team focused football. And in the second half, our guys played great team ball. And I think defense shut them out and, and offense put up some points. It was good to see Cole Duggar <clears throat> basically just operate the whole fourth quarter, um, you know, kind of possibly our future. Uh, you know, obviously uh, we, we, we kind of feel like he'll be our future quarterback. So it's kind of exciting to see Cole get some, uh, get a lot of playing time and, and, uh, uh, he got knocked out of this game last year, um, a knee injury, and uh, and uh, so we let you know. I think it was uh, it was good for him to get back and play against a team that kind of knocked him out last week or last year. Uh, you also got to play some other reserves, just just having a big lead, uh, which I'm sure helps for that experience factor. Jeff Caldwell is a young player that he had three catches and they were all touchdowns. Can you talk about that? Yeah, we got to see kind of our <clears throat> future on display in the fourth quarter with. Uh, you know, Jeff Caldwell's a, you know, big, tall, six, five kid that jumps, you know, over the moon kind of guy. And, and uh, to see him, we've seen it in practice. We've seen it in scrimmages and it's kind of fun to see him. And he's got a couple touchdowns this year. This isn't the first time he's played. He's, he, uh, um, <clears throat> I think he had a touchdown against UT Martin. He had a, I think central uh, Arkansas, I believe. So, We've seen these things, but for Jeff, you know, really to have a big third quarter, you can kind of see there's been the 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 K the the Brister uh, Rose uh, connection that we've talked a lot about, but you know to see kind of the Cole Caldwell connection that will be on display the next couple of years is kind of exciting too. Um, and then Drew Crowbath and the, you know true freshman for us caught a touchdown. Uh, you know uh, Jared Rhodes, a fresh true freshman running back that ran for 90 yards. Um, you know, uh, see Roddy Thomas running around a little bit of true freshman out there. Uh, it was fun, fun to see kind of our, our future, uh, making plays out there. And then the old guys, you mentioned Pay Payton, uh, obviously he set the uh, career receiving touchdowns record. So this, what has he meant to the program over the years and done so successful? You know, it, it's exciting. Every time you start a new game, it's kind of like, what's Peyton going to do today? You know, and, uh, um, you know, and he, he had another 200 yard day and, and, uh, three, you know, a bunch of touchdowns set the, he's got most of the receiving records now and you wouldn't even, um, you know, we always burn the wood, you know, after a win and, and they were chanting, uh, Peyton's in the back of the huddle, doesn't even want to, you know, he, he, it's almost uncomfortable for him to come up and, and be, you know, have attention brought to him. He's just such a humble kid. Um, and, uh. But, you know, he deserves all this, just how much work he's put in, how humble he is. Um, you know, th these are the things, you know, when you get a few games left in your season and, and the seniors are going to be coming to a close, I mean, it it starts to hit you a little bit and can get a little sad just because you've had some, you've had people in your program this long and Peyton's one of those that's been with us a long time. Um, so we're going to really cherish uh, these next uh, few weeks here. Um, 
as, as we close out our season, uh, you know, with, with guys like him and, and others, you know, there's so many others in our program that have been here forever as well. Tennessee Tech, what can you tell us about them? They're coming off a win uh, on the road last week. Yeah, good team. And, you know, we've kind of been used to, you know, we're, we, we've enjoyed homecomings, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's a, uh, another home come homecoming game and and uh, we're, we kind of anticipated that this year a little bit so it's kind of fun to uh our kids kind of like that environment um coach has done a great job there um you know i've gotten to know him a little bit uh through the years but you know uh man they're just you know i always you know you look at you know as we're really watching a lot of film i mean the, um you know, there's some games that that we see that you know could have went the other way um and so they're they're a very very good team and you know that's why we don't really focus on records but you know i i when i looked at those and looked at those games and see how how all of a sudden the play here man that they have a whole different record so that's why i keep trying to tell our team we just you can't look at records man and this is a team um uh, you know that's very balanced and they they uh um, they're just well coached. And I think, I think that's the thing I always look at is how sound is a, how sound is a defense, how, uh, how does an op offense operate? Um, and, uh, and so a lot of, a lot of respect, um, for this program and, and, uh, for this game coming up and we've got to get, you know, we got to kind of move back to, uh, um, you know, we got to kind of remember what we've been playing, um, you know, uh, n nothing against last week, but, you know, our guys got to shift back to, you know, yeah, we scored a lot of points and we, we won a game that we feel like we, uh, we expected to win. And we can't, we can't all of a sudden think we've just, you know, we've arrived to something. This is going to be a, this is going to be a tough task Saturday. And we've told our team that, and, uh, and, uh, and I hope we have a good week of practice. And I think they will, cause they know going on the road and, and it's going to be a great atmosphere. It's homecoming, uh, a lot of incentive. They've got a, they picked up a great win and they're going to have some confidence and, and plus they're a good, they're a good team, so we got to be ready to go. Coach Alexander was talking about Cade a little bit and uh, how he can do. He's called him a linebacker at the quarterback position, and and this barrels his way. What about Tech's quarterback? A little taller, but a lot of the same things. He will run the ball. He he looks to make plays happen. What have you seen from him? Uh, what you just said, you know. Uh, again, um, you, you know, quarter quarterbacks that are elusive and that can run and move, you know, they worry you. I mean, I was a defensive guy. And so, you know, when you're, you know, when you got to account for number one, they, they do, they're, they, they've got a good operation in their run game, but also what he does uh, at that position uh, can keep And you know, and the reality is, is I think, uh, you know, we, um, you know, teams have seen that, you know, we're, we, we see who we are right now. And I know defensively we've, you know, that's been a, that's been something that's been a, um, a challenge for us. Um, and everybody knows it. it's not like it's a secret, you know, people can see that they can move the ball on us a little bit and, you know, uh, and we got to stop, you know, we've got to, and then all of a sudden when we get lined up, right. And we do those things, uh, they find out that, Hey, it's harder to run on us when we're getting lined up and we're and sometimes with, with young players, um, you know, uh, we're a lot different defense and the stat, you know, the statistics and everything don't, uh, don't always show what how good this defense can be when they when they want to be, and when they when they get lined up and they they tackle and they do those things. So I'm you know I I'm really encouraged by the challenge with this what this offense is going to bring to our defense and and we know it's going to be a challenge. But you know again really respect um, you know how that kid plays, and um, you know again elusive quarterbacks they just keep you up at night because they can make some plays with their feet and. You know they've got a good little quarterback run game when they want to use it as well, and and that's uh or when they use it, um, and we got to be ready for that. We saw that a little bit even last week, and we've seen it um, a little bit throughout the the year, um, and so it won't be foreign to us. But uh, really respect that kid. You're all three and one on the road this year. Um, talk about that. Just uh, you've you've done well when you've uh, gone away from home. Our kids kind of like. Um, they love playing at home, but they, they also love being on the road. I think that they love the, you know, they love the, the trap, you know, getting in the hotel and being together with the fun time. You know, we have a little fun. Um, we get some work done in, in Friday nights, but we also, you know, just some of the stuff they, they enjoy being around each other and some of the stuff we do. Um, you know, there's less distractions sometimes that they really, they really do like, uh, you know, playing on the road. I think that's important. Um, it, that we, we've always made that kind of a, 
a, a not not really a fun experience, but a, a great experience of saying, hey, you know, we uh, being together and there's not a lot of distractions and and uh, and the kids kind of buy into that a little bit. And so, you know, we're we're excited to get back out on the road. Our kids have confidence playing out on the road, and we we kind of it's that us you know us against the world mentality that we kind of uh, tell them. Uh, that they kind of buy into. And, uh, and, and again, it's fun to go play at a new place. So you've just never been at and travel to a place you haven't been to. I think our kids have really enjoyed that seeing, you know, playing in some new, new, uh, new teams, new venues. And uh, again, this will be another, uh, another opportunity to do that. And, and uh, you know, I think, you know, we, I think our guys, the, the, the one thing our, I think our guys is they've accepted, you know, they know the guys, when they look across the field, they look at guys, that might look different than them. And this is going to, you know, they've gotten kind of used to that and they, and now it's more of a, it's just back to football and, and making plays and, and it'll be a good challenge for us. See if we can kind of keep that momentum going. Well, coach, uh, thanks for joining us. Best, excuse me, best of luck on Saturday. And we'll talk to you again next week. Thanks, Kyle. Appreciate you. Man.